Hello, this is Ms. Noel from Falcon Ridge Elementary. I'm here to talk to you today about complete versus incomplete metamorphosis. We'll start with complete metamorphosis and a darkling beetle. Stage one is the egg. It is about two millimeters across. That's very tiny and about uh, the size of the tip of your pinky nail. Stage two is the larva. This is also known as the mealworm. And much like the very hungry caterpillar, they love to eat. In our lab, we typically feed them oatmeal and apple slices. Stage three is the pupa. Sometimes it's called a cocoon and the mealworm is transforming into a very different stage. They don't move much until they're ready to emerge from the pupa in their adult form. Stage four, which is the final stage, is the adult. When it emerges from the pupa, it comes out looking very light. Then as it grows older, it turns into a much darker color. And then at the end of its life cycle, it's almost black. Next, for incomplete metamorphosis, we'll be looking at the cricket. Stage one is the egg. As you can tell, the egg is pretty small in comparison to the penny. Stage two is the nymph. You can see that there are no wings yet in the, on the cricket, and we cannot see a reproductive organ as well. Stage three is the final stage of a cricket's life cycle, and it is an adult now. It now has wings, and this long reproductive spike. This identifies this cricket as a female. That spike or tube is where she, how she lays her eggs. So to recap and review what all we've discussed today, um, let's look. Can you identify the different insects? How are they alike and how are they different? So the insect on top has how many stages? Yes, it has four stages. How about that insect on bottom? How many stages does it have? It actually has three stages. This stage, the second stage that was labeled as a nymph, is still a nymph. So it technically only has three stages. The second and third stage, they're not really too different. So we give this a very special name. We'll cover it at the very end of our discussion. So as you guessed, the insect on top was a darkling beetle. How about that means the insect on bottom has to be, that's right, it was a cricket. What about the different types of metamorphosis? What type of metamorphosis did the darkling beetle go through? You guessed it, it was complete metamorphosis. How about the metamorphosis of the cricket? That's right. It was an incomplete metamorphosis. I hope you enjoyed our lesson. Thanks.